Hey golf people, you might have seen a video I did earlier in this year where I tested the Stealth driver up against the Sim 2 to see which one of these drivers was worth buying. Was it worth paying the extra money, stepping up to the new model, or could you do just as well, or pretty close at least, with the Sim 2? We found with drivers that the Sim 2 was really close. You were only paying for an extra yard or two with the Stealth. Well, today I've got the Stealth irons against the Sim 2 irons. We're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna find out if the Stealth is worth spending that extra coin or if you can get away with last year's model. Now, I've been playing with these Stealths for the last couple of weeks, so I feel like I've got a really good idea of what these things can do. And I've been playing with the Sim 2s for the better part of a year, so I know these clubs pretty well. We're gonna be judging these sets on five categories. Firstly, value. Dollar for dollar, pound for pound, which one of these iron sets presents the best value to the buyer as of me making this video in the summer of 2022. Number two, we're gonna talk about distance. Which one of these clubs is gonna give you that little extra something something. Number three, we're gonna talk about forgiveness and accuracy. In this line of game improvement clubs, a lot of people are looking for forgiveness and accuracy. It's so, so very important. Number four, we're gonna test out workability. Can you move the ball right and left with these clubs? And number five, we're gonna talk about the aesthetics. That's looks, feel, and sound. Which one of these is going to give you better sensory feedback on the course to improve your game? So before we get started, I wanna thank our show sponsor, playbetter.com who have provided most of the equipment that we're going to be using to test these two wonderful sets of irons today. In order to measure these clubs, we'll be using my Bushnell Launch Pro. The great thing about Play Better is they've got those in stock when a lot of retailers don't. Best prices on the internet. And if you're the type of golfer like me who's into other hobbies like skiing, kayaking, snowboarding, hiking, biking, all of these sorts of things, Play Better's got all of the equipment to help you do whatever you do better. Playbetter.com, check them out. There's a link down below. So the first category here is distance, and this is a combination of my real life observations on course, as well as testing in this simulator here behind me. In terms of distance, the stealth is going to be, on average, I would say two to five yards longer. Now, of course, that extra distance is going to be attributed to loft. In general, the stealth clubs are going to be a half a degree to one full degree press forward from the Sim 2s, which were already pretty loft jack to begin with. But here's what is really interesting. If you look at peak heights of both of these clubs, they are pretty much the same. So you're getting the same height and trajectory from the Stealth as you're gonna get from the Sim 2. The only difference that I saw in the simulator here is that that descent angle is going to be a little bit steeper on the Sim 2s, which is going to translate into a little less rollout. So with the Stealth, I got about one yard extra rollout between five, seven, and nine irons, all exactly the same, one extra yard than I was getting with the Sim 2, and I was getting about 300 to 500 RPMs less spin with the stealths as well. However, I was getting significantly more ball speed in relation to my club head speed than I was getting with the Sim 2s, which again translates into more distance. So on average, you're going to get longer strikes out of these new stealth irons than you would get from the Sim 2s. Now our second category here, which is accuracy, forgiveness, dispersion, kind of clumping those all together here. In the simulator, I found the nine iron and the seven iron to be just as tight, if not tighter with the stealth. However, when I was going into the long iron, specifically testing the five iron, I found that my dispersion was a little bit better with the Sim 2s. And on course, I find them to be almost exactly the same. In terms of forgiveness, both incredibly forgiving clubs, really it's a coin toss. So I've got to give both of these a check mark here in terms of forgiveness and accuracy. In terms of workability, again, I don't see a whole lot between these clubs. I think they're both extremely workable and on course I am able to draw these and fade these pretty much on command. And one thing I really liked about the Sim 2s is where these were workable clubs for being game improvement clubs. A lot of times you get game improvement clubs and all you can do is hit straight shots and you can't really work the ball. Not the case 
with the Sim 2s. And again, not the case with the Stealth. Both of these incredibly workable for the category that they sit in. And so again, I'm going to give a green check mark here to both of these clubs for workability. Let's get into aesthetics. In this category, we can break this down by looks, feel, and sound. If we look at looks alone, I think the Stealths take it. It's a much better looking club. The Sim 2 is not ugly in any way. In fact, when it first came out, I thought it was kind of cool looking, but when I see it compared up against the Stealths, the Stealths, the obvious choice here, much closer in looks to a player's iron, still not a player's iron, obviously, but much closer in looks. That's except for the offset, which I find to be a little bit more offset in these Stealths and maybe even a little chunkier up top, but both of these are kind of chunky clubs, but all in all, I think aesthetics do go to the Stealth. Now, in terms of sound, both of these clubs sound good. I'm gonna go ahead and say that one's a toss up. I can't really tell you that one sounds better than the other, but when it comes to feel, I do believe the Stealths have much better feel. Now they've said in their marketing materials, at least that they have worked on the dampeners and the technology inside of the hollow body construction. And I find that to be the case. These aren't forged clubs, but they're really close to feeling like forged clubs. They feel a lot better on strikes than my Sim 2s. And I do think there's actually better feedback too. I know when I hit it thin, when I hit it off the toe, when I hit it off the heel, just a little bit better there with the Stealths. Again, Sim 2's good, but the Stealths great when it comes to feedback. So in terms of aesthetics, I've got to give this one to the Stealth. Now in terms of value, obviously the Sim 2 is going to be last generation's club, which means you're going to be able to find it on the secondary market a lot cheaper, as well as even potentially buying these new for a lot cheaper. I see them going for about $7.99 new and anywhere from four to $600 for a used set of Sim 2s. When you put that up against the Stealth, the Stealth out of the box, MSRP was $100 more than the Sim 2s were last year. So you're looking at basically $1,000, $999 plus tax is what I paid for my Stealths. So pound for pound, if you're willing to give up a couple of yards and still get really good forgiveness, pretty good aesthetics and really good workability, I'm gonna go ahead and say that the Sim 2 is going to present a better value than the Stealth. All right, so final conclusion time. If you have not purchased either of these sets of clubs and you're looking to step into either the Sim 2s or the Stealths for the first time, I would highly recommend you start off with the Stealths. I think they're the superior club and I think it's worth dishing out a few hundred dollars to get something that I find to be significantly enough better. Now, if you've already got the Sim 2s, you've been a proud owner of the Sim 2s and you're thinking, should I sell those and should I upgrade to the Stealths? I would go ahead and say, hold on to what you've got because I think the Sim 2s are still really awesome clubs. The performance difference is gonna be a few yards and that might make a difference to you, but all in all, Sim 2s, great, forgiving and consistent clubs. I really like them and I'd probably keep them in my bag if my job did not call for me changing and trying and doing all sorts of things with new clubs all the time. So I will be changing my clubs. I'm not yet 100% sure it's going to be the Stealths. I've got more clubs to test. Here's a couple of other clubs I've been testing recently. So check out these videos. And I look forward to seeing you next time on another edition of Let's Play Through.